So I mentioned uh, the other day when I wrote about e-learning and an online membership course where students could uh, sign up, pay, get access to a course, step through material, and, uh, and be able to, to watch videos in a protected environment, I mentioned that you could also create a quiz if you were using a plugin like Formidable Pro. And so I just wanted to uh, introduce you to that and show you how it would work. I'm sure you can use my other favorite, Gravity Forms. I just haven't done it. I have done it with Formidable Pro. If you look here, this is Formidable Pro's website. They are a form builder for WordPress and a single site license for you know your one site uh, is $47. There is a light version uh, that's free, but for some of the stuff that uh, I'm gonna be doing here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna invest. Again, it's not, uh, $47 is not the end of the world if this is the thing that you're doing. Uh, so with that, I want to show you first our destination, where we're going. We're looking to create a quiz that is uh, multiple choice, and when I go and I fill in these answers, if you're paying attention uh, at the bottom, what's going to happen is, notice when I don't give it the right answer, it didn't increase the score. When I did, it does. You'll see here, it doesn't increase, and when I do, it does. And if I do it like that, perfect score, I can hit submit. And when I get to submit, it'll tell me a score of four is passing and your score is four. So that's, that's the simple quiz we're trying to build. Uh, we're going to do it very quickly. And here is how we do it. We're going to go into our sample quiz. And in this case, I've, I've pre-done everything so I can just walk you through it quickly. Um, every time you want to create a question, you just click one of these buttons. In this case, you're going to click the button for radio button. And when you click it, you'll get something like this. And you'll be able to click in here and type the question that you want. And you'll be able to add options. And every time you add an option, you'll see another value. You're not going to see saved value over here. I'm just going to show you that real quick by, uh, by creating a new radio button. So I'm going to come over here and click new. You'll notice it's not there. I can still ask the question. So here's a question. I'm going to delete this question in a second. I can still change the values. So here's option A and this is option B. And that's, and that's not a problem at all. I, I can do that. I can even add options, right? So if I want to add an option C, I can do that. But where it's going to get tricky, or, or how you want to score this, is by coming in here and inside, you want to pick Use Separate Values. And just by doing that, you get this second column. And for every one that is right, you put a 1. And for every one that is wrong, you put a 0. And this is how you can score up these points. Now. When you finish answering, you know, when you finish creating one of these questions, you're going to want to hit update just so that the question gets actually saved. And by doing that, it's going to have its own ID. Why is that important? Because when you finally put that single text box here at the bottom um, and you go into it, a couple things you're going to want to do. First, you're going to want to make sure it's read only. That way that uh, you know no one's changing their own score. And second, you want to click the uh, value creation by calculation. And when you check that box, you're going to be able to say plus, now we just added a new field, and you'll see it in here, right? And uh, the new field is here at the bottom, question ID, and that's 202. Now in this case, I'm not actually going to do that because I don't want to change my scoring. So I'm going to close that up, and I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete this guy here because we don't need him. And when I do, I'm going to update my form. Now, as you finish this form, you can come into settings, and in the settings, you can come over and into the display, the, the you did it right, display message. You can say a score of four is passing, your score is, and you can pick the value from here. In this case, it was the score. By doing that and hitting update, you have done exactly what we wanted. And it gives you a short code so you can put that on any page you like or in a course and not have a problem. I will say in the last couple seconds, there is one other cool thing it does, though I'm not going to demo it today. And that is you can create a custom post type. You hit a post type at the end of this survey and you can pick the kind of post type it is. So what that does is you could tell um, Formal Pro to create a new entry, a new post type of a grade record every time someone takes a quiz. And you can insert some of the data of their score here so that you could have a list of all the tests they'd taken and how they'd scored. And that's how to do it in under five minutes.